Well, here we are. The 75th anniversary of the NBA comes to a close with a finals matchup of two of the three original teams. I know. Crazy, right? Um, it's not the finals matchup I wanted. You know, I got one team right. I, I said that the Celtics were going to go to the NBA Finals, and here they are. I, I did not pick the Warriors, though. I did not pick the Warriors to go to the NBA Finals, but they made it here anyway. So, and it was a, you know, it was an interesting, it was an interesting way to get here because, you know, the Miami Heat, you know, who I don't think I've talked about at all this year, aside from like a couple of offhand mentions, because I don't think I watched the Heat game this season. Uh, the Dallas Mavericks were a big surprise, and them beating the Phoenix Suns really kind of changed the trajectory of things. You know, again, I thought you know we were going to get you know at least two seven-game series in the Eastern Conference and Western Conference Finals, but the Suns completely you know they completely pissed the bed on this one, and that's why they lost to the Mavs. <laughs> yeah, but the Mavs, you know, they they got easily taken care of by the Warriors in five games and you know again the Celtics outlasted the Heat in seven you know crazy time there so with this Warriors team the big thing here is you know Steph Curry Draymond Green Clay Thompson you know these are these this is the core trio that's won three championships and they're looking for their fourth you know so, you know, this is the sixth time the Warriors have made it to, to the NBA Finals in eight years. And the Boston Celtics, they haven't been here since 2010. You know, they haven't been on this stage in a long, long time. You know, this, it, this is, this is a, this is going to be some two tough defenses right here. Let me tell you, this is going to be two tough defenses. With Jason Tatum leading the Celtics, this is, this is going to be... This is going to be one hell of a series. It's going to be one hell of a series. Um, a lot of people are, you know, making their predictions, and you know, I'm going to make mine's here in a moment too. But let let's talk a little bit more about the Warriors first. We got to talk about the Warriors first again. Clay Thompson, he was not here for most of the season, um, and he still kind of felt he, he looked a little off to me, especially in the games against the Mavs. You know, he looked a little off. You know, but he, he came back and, you know, and was able to, you know, make it happen. Draymond Green, you know, he's been back and forth, you know, you know, and, and Steph Curry, Steph Curry, you know, a, a, a superstar. And then you got guys like Andrew Wiggins, Kevon Looney, Jordan Poole. Those guys are emerging, and those guys are making the plays needed, you know, like, how many times did the Mavs get out rebounded in the in the Western Conference Finals? Like they, they got out rebounded, out, out classed. I mean, out style. I mean, the, like these, like Wiggins and Looney, like the, those two on their own, you know, have helped the Warriors immensely. And I mean, this this, this is just key for them to get back on track. And, you know, there's also you know they, they they there's also guys that have been injured, you know. Gary Payton second, you know, Otto Porter Jr., Andre Iguodala, you know, there, there's just so many guys that are injured, but yet the Warriors persevered, and a lot of injuries have been on both sides, you know, for these two teams. Speaking of a, you know, speaking of the both sides aspect, we got to talk the Celtics, and I think, you know, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, you know, this is a, this is a duo that, you know, these two can play, and you add in the third factor into this equation, and we got an interesting, interesting set, you know, you know, and Marcus Smart as well. Again, you know, just an interesting set of guys, you know. I I I genuinely think, you know, had the Heat not fumbled the bag here, you know, the Heat would be the Heat would have, you know had some rest and some time off the Celtics persevered and won you know the Eastern Conference Finals they persevered and did what they needed to do in game seven and then you got guys like Al Horford that you know are just 
they, they've been an X Factor for so long, but they've they've made it they've made it so you know where they can do it. At the end of the day, you know, at the end of the day, I think you know it comes down to you know who's who who wants this more, whose defense is gonna give them more at the end. You know, again, the Celtics had to fight. They had to fight to get to the NBA Finals, whereas the Warriors kind of cruise, and I think that kind of jet lag will help the Warriors out a little bit. So I do think the Warriors will win the NBA Finals in six games. I know, I know it, it, sound, it sounds kind of silly, but I, I do think that will be the case. And if it's not the case, then I mean it is what it is. I mean, what 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 else can you say? What else can you say at the end of the day? So, in any case, um, whether it be June tenth, thirteenth, sixteenth, or possibly the nineteenth, we'll we'll be back to talk the NBA finals and recap them all for you, you know, recap the entire series cuz again, you know, it, it's going to be it's going to be an interesting series, I think, you know. Again, not the finals matchup I personally wanted cuz I wanted Suns Celtics and you know, cuz I I really thought the Celtics, you know, were going to pull this out and I'm glad they actually pulled it out. But again, I think, you know, the fatigue factor and the fact that, you know, the Warriors they they played so they, they play pretty dynamically, you know, and the fact that the Celtics have struggled a little bit, that's why I think this this series will be over at six in favor of the Warriors, and that will give the Warriors their fourth title in eight seasons. But if not, and the Celtics win their 18th title, which will be, what, the most all-time in NBA history, uh, then, I mean, hey, I'm wrong. And, I mean, I, I'd rather be glad to be wrong than be glad to be right, you know, all the time. Because there have been some times where I've been right, and there have been some times where I've been wrong. So, what do you, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? How do y'all think the NBA Finals will go? Y'all think this will go? How, 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 how long do y'all think the series will be? Four games, five, six, seven. You know who y'all got? Y'all got the Warriors. Y'all got the Celtics. I know the fan bases are going to be insufferable, but I don't care about the fans. You know, because I mean that that's not important. The fans are not important. You know. At this moment, they're not important. At this moment, they're at the they're important at the end of the series. They're not important at this moment. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, we can we can whine and cry about you know oh, the Warriors fan base is terrible and the Celtics fan base is not good either. Who cares? I'm here for some basketball. I'm here for the basketball. I'm not here for y'all to whine and cry about the fans. I'm here for the basketball between two great teams. So. There you go. Until then, everybody, this is Big Boy Sports signing off, and I'll see you very, very soon with more content.